Here's a quick tip for how to customize Lightroom. What we're gonna do is replace the startup screen. And that means every time you double click on Lightroom and it displays a little thing that says Adobe and it has some pictures, we can put whatever we want in there. It could be your logo, could be a photo, whatever it is. It's real easy, only take you a second. Let's do it. So this is the screen that Adobe usually displays when launching Lightroom Classic. Well, I'm gonna replace it. I've made up this, which is my company logo. And the only thing I gotta do is if I were to come in here and choose image size, I need to make sure that this image is no larger than 900 pixels in the width and 600 pixels in the height. Now the resolution does not matter and that's all I need. So create a brand new document, 900 by 600 pixels, and then paste your favorite photo in there or paste your logo and scale it down so it fits. Then go to the file menu, choose export and choose export as. And if it's a photograph you're using, save it as a JPEG file. If on the other hand, it's your logo or another graphic, then use PNG file format. And all you gotta do is hit the export button and then save that somewhere where you remember. Now I've already saved mine. Mine's sitting on my desktop. So I'm gonna close this version and let's hide Photoshop. It doesn't matter what you name the file as long as it's in either PNG format or JPEG format and we put it in the special folder, then that's where Lightroom's gonna look every time it launches. And if Lightroom Classic is launching up and you got something in there, it's gonna display it. So let's go over to Lightroom and we need to have it show us a special folder. To do so, I'm gonna go to the file menu and I'm gonna choose export, even though I don't need to export an image. Then in here on the right side, I'm gonna to scroll to the very bottom where it says post-processing. In there, I find a little pop-up menu that says after import. I'm gonna click there and go to the bottom most choice. When I do, it should open a special folder on our hard drive. You see the name of the folder is called Lightroom and this is where Lightroom stores many of its presets. And in here, you may find a folder called splash screen. If you don't have that folder, in here, just create a brand new folder and name it exactly that, splash screen with a space between the two words and the first letters of each word capital. And as long as that's there, then we can go get the file that we saved, I saved mine on my desktop, and just put it in that folder. There it is. And if you've done that, you should be good to go. You can close that folder, then you can return to Lightroom. You'll still be in the export screen, so just click cancel. And now quit Lightroom and just start it right back up. Here goes, I'm gonna launch mine. And there's my custom screen. Now what a lot of people expect it to do though, is to also replace what you get if you come up here and choose about Lightroom Classic, but it's not. That one we can't change. It's only when you're launching Lightroom. If you enjoyed that tip, then check out my Lightroom playlist here on YouTube and you can learn a lot more. I'm Ben Wilmore and I'll see you next time.